what time it is. It's time for everybody's favorite new game show, America's number one new game show. Say it with me. It's time for Hypocrite of the Week. This week's contestant, it's Greg Abbott. Oh, that's right, Greg Abbott. A man who professes to be a believer in Christian values and a believer in life and the children. Well, let's see what Greg Abbott's been up to this week. Oh, Governor Greg Abbott, it's been one hell of a week. Let's go to the tape. Advocates who helped dozens of migrants. 140 of them arrived in D.C. on Christmas Eve. They were bused from Texas to the vice president's home, some of them wearing just T-shirts in 18-degree weather. Most folks are coming with what they can carry, so people are arriving without adequate clothing um, for the cold weather. In a press release, Texas Governor Greg Abbott blamed the White House for inaction. As a believer in Christian values and a believer in life, as he always is so happy to say, let's see, 18 degrees with no winter clothing, children in t-shirts dropped off on the side of the street with no advance phone call and no one there to meet him. That is pretty hypocritical. Less than points is carrying nearly 150 migrants that arrived in Washington, D.C. on Christmas Eve, dropping them off in frigid temperatures near the home of Vice President Kamala Harris. Texas Governor Greg Abbott was behind that move. Axios this morning is detailing the efforts of one volunteer group who arrived to help the migrants. Claudia Tristan, the story reads, a volunteer with the Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network, spent the wee hours of Sunday helping feed 140 migrants who were left by the roadside on Christmas Eve outside Vice President Kamala Harris's official residence. Tristan and other advocates said the three buses came from Texas within half an hour of the arrival of the first bus. The migrants were on their way to a church to be warmed up with coffee, tamales, beans, and rice, and rotisserie chicken. None of them knew where they were being dropped off, she told Axios. They have no idea they're part of this bigger political game. As many of us know, it was frigid that night, and once they got to our respite center, they were so incredibly thankful, and it was really alarming to see how they came in. Many were just wearing t-shirts. Some of them had blankets that you can see in some of the video, but those blankets were incredibly thin. Some people didn't even have shoes on, just double layers of thick socks that were donated to them at some point during their journey. So it was really quite alarming to see that political leaders have dumped them on the side of the road Christmas Eve in 18 degree weather, knowing that they're not dressed for this weather. Claudia, God bless you. I'm sure you had plenty of things you would have liked to have done on Christmas Eve with your family and Christmas Day with your family, but you did such a good deed and reflected the best of America by helping those men and women and children. And could you tell us a bit about the children who were in the buses and the toddlers who on Christmas Eve, they weren't waiting on Santa Claus to come visit them. They were being transported by Greg Abbott to freezing Washington, D.C., outside the vice president's residence. And I really think that's the most painful thing to watch, the children that are being thrown into this game that our political leaders think is going to resolve anything. Those children are the most innocent among all of this. And to see these small kids show up to our respite center, and they're, you know, a little confused at what's happening because at that point it's late at the ne late at night and uh, they're just so so thankful to receive a warm meal but wait there's more all this happened in the middle of the night on Christmas Eve that's right dropped them off on the side of the road on Christmas Eve with absolutely every store and business closed in the country that is some hypocritical and quite frankly evil shit way to go greg abbott you are scoring high for our hypocrite of the week <laughs> that's some mighty hypocritin you're up to 20. and that goes to show that 
we're more than ready to welcome these migrants and it takes our whole coalition of volunteers, not just me. We're an entire group that has been working since April. Yes, it was Christmas Eve and yes, it's shocking and horrible, but this is a regular occurrence and the governor of Texas continues to drop them off at the vice president's house instead of working with us and dropping them off at our respite centers. Uh, you know, I'll leave that to our political leaders who can make a decision on that. I just want him to remember that there are real human lives in the middle of all of this who are becoming victims of his stunts, which, like this weekend, there's children, not even two years old, toddlers, that are stuck in the middle of all of this. One of the saddest parts is that a core volunteer organizer from the Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network have asked multiple times for the state of Texas just to simply drop these people off at their respite center. But they refuse to do that because this is a f political fundraiser to be seen on Fox News. They gotta drop them off at the VP's house because they're hypocritical scum sucking pieces of shit and not at all Christians or have Christian values, especially on Christmas. My God, you could have at least given them a present like a coat. That's somebody hypocritin'. That's 30 points, Greg Abbott. Oh my, oh my, Greg Abbott's office put out a statement just a couple of days ago talking about how great this program's going. Turns out they've sent 16,000 migrants up to the northern so-called sanctuary cities, you know, to own the libs, because they're scum sucking. And with just a, a measly $12 million of Texas taxpayer money. Greg Abbott, you are our hypocrite of the week. You get 50 bonus MAGA points. It looks like you and Ron DeSantis are going to be fighting over the Trump little fig leaves. Who's going to get the crumbs of MAGA? We're going to find out if you can be a hypocrite enough or you can be a scumbag enough. Hey, hey, Greg Abbott, you're well on your way. Congratulations, you're hypocrite of the week. And we have some nice parting gifts for all those who didn't make it. I'm sorry, Donald Trump. Your taxes just weren't enough to be a hypocrite this week. Not like Greg Abbott, ruining for Christmas for freezing children. Congratulations, I'm Zachariah Lone Star Liberal. Join us next time for Hypocrite of the Week.